Hello and good morning, it's Phil Thatch and I'm here at Chester Frost Park, which is a Hamilton County Park in Tennessee. And it's here at Dallas Bay, which is a little bay that's kind of off the side of the Tennessee River. And a fellow that I know on Facebook, Robert Scott, great birder and bird photographer, had noticed that there are American white pelicans here. So, so we, uh, we came up here and uh, Heather and I came up here and we invited our buddy Ron Durant and he met us up here this morning. And we were looking all around trying to find the pelicans really early. And they ended up being way over on the other side in the channel. Heather spotted them and we hung out over there for, gosh, I don't know, 45 minutes. And then all of a sudden they all got up and flew over here and now they're way out there in the distance you probably can't see them but they're they're way out there and they've all kind of in groups of five and 20 and 100 flew over and no telling how many's over there i bet there's 500 birds over there and in addition to that back over here we saw a bald eagle uh, a uh, juvenile young younger immature bald eagle flying around a couple of red tail hawks there's a light post in the parking lot over there that has an osprey nest in it. I wandered over to the bathroom, got a picture of a bluebird. Here comes a pelican really close right there. Uh, anyway, we're having a fun morning here at the, uh, at the dock for the boat ramp at Chester Frost Park. While the pelicans were over in the main channel, we didn't get any photos of them, but I did make a photograph of these four bufflehead ducks. There's three males and one female. She's over on the right. And then here are the pelicans as they started to fly over from the main channel of the river and into Dallas Bay. And they were in big groups and small groups. And we thought it was just beautiful to see them as they flew over into the shallower waters of Dallas Bay. And all the photos that say Canon on the bottom are mine, and the photos that say Nikon are Heather's. And during this early part of the day, uh, Heather didn't make a whole lot of photographs because she couldn't get down quite to where you could get a decent shot of the birds. But I made a lot as they flew across. Now, Heather has some amazing shots coming later in the video, so make sure and stay tuned for her Nikon Z50 photos. I thought this photo would have been really great, except for the pelican was flying away from me instead of towards me. But you do get some detail of how they tuck their cute feet up under their tail feathers. Now here is the bald eagle, and I guess this is probably a fourth year bald eagle. It's almost got adult color pattern, but not completely. And it's a long way off, just kind of an identification shot. And of course there's ring-billed gulls around, and I made this photograph of a ring-billed gull. This was over at the boat dock and Heather made this photograph of a ring-billed gull as it was swimming there in Dallas Bay which is part of Chickamauga Lake. And then as I mentioned in the previous clip when I went over to the restroom I saw this beautiful female eastern bluebird in a tree and made a photograph of her that I thought turned out really nice. And then we moved on. Well, we've come all the way over here to the kind of the camping areas now, and we got, the, the birds were heading in this direction, and we got, I don't know how many pictures of them, and I don't know how many there are, but there's hundreds. So we did some shots over here, but now they're moving to another area. So we are heading over there. The cool thing about Harrison Bay, I mean, uh, Chester Frost Park, is there's roads kind of almost all the way around this bay. So uh, as long as they're on the public areas, we can kind of get, semi close to these birds and get a picture but now they're moving kind of back over near where the uh where the boat ramp is so that is where we're moving to so now we are seeing more of heather's pictures we had arrived to a place where she could get down to where she could see them pretty good and here's a couple of photos that she made of these pelicans as they were coming in for a landing heather says maybe the american white pelican might be her favorite bird Here's one of my photographs of some of the pelicans coming in for a landing. So they were actually, we went to a spot and they kind of came to us. So that was pretty cool. And here's one of Heather's shots with more of the pelicans as they are flying in. Now this time of year, Chickamauga Lake is lowered by about six or eight feet. And the area where these two pelicans are flying over in the summertime, that area is water. 
But in the wintertime, it is mud. And here is a couple of pelicans flying over that mud. And look at this picture that Heather made of so many pelicans as they're swimming around there in Dallas Bay at Chester Falls Park. And then I made a similar photograph of the many, many pelicans that we were just thrilled to be able to see. They've only been coming to our area for about four years, best that we know. We drove around and we ended up kind of a little ways over there and though they were the closest to us that they've been all morning. Uh, they were so close I had to take my 800 millimeter lens off and put my 100 to 500 on. And then I decided that it was so amazing that stills almost didn't do it justice. So I made uh, some video clips too with the 100 to 500. So let's take a look at those. This was the most exciting part of our morning. We happened to catch them right when they found a school of minnows or some sort of fish and we caught a feeding frenzy. And I thought I was too close with the 800 millimeter lens when I made this shot and look, it's got a fish in its mouth. And so I switched to doing video. I thought it would be more exciting to do video of this feeding frenzy, but I only did one clip of the feeding frenzy. And then I decided that the 800 millimeter was too much. I was too close for the 800. So I went and switched to the 100 to 500 and I'm showing you this feeding frenzy clip three times. Now, while all that was happening, Heather was making these amazing shots at, during the feeding frenzy. Look at them just going crazy and feeding. And look, uh, you can see that one has a fish in its mouth and they are just really going crazy. There's another one that has its head and neck completely underwater in this shot. Here's another one. Look how crowded they are. And that one has a fish in its mouth. Heather was tearing it up, making amazing photographs, and I was over at the car switching lenses. So that's how it goes sometimes. Look, that one has another fish in its mouth. Heather just killed it during this feeding frenzy with the 200 to 500. I'm not sure if there's one with a fish in its mouth during this shot or not, but they are still going crazy and finding a good place to have breakfast. Look at all of those pelicans getting their bellies full of minnows and things there at Dallas Bay. And here they, they are continuing to do their feeding frenzy there, just churning up the water. The water was all muddy looking as we watched them feed. Look at all those happy, hungry pelicans there in Dallas Bay at Chester Frost Park in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Here's another photo of them feeding. There's one that has some sort of black I'm not sure what that is. And then another one in the background has a fish and this one has a fish. I think it has two. I think it has one in its gullet and one in the open part of its mouth. So many feeding photos. Look, there's a fish flying through the air in this shot as the feeding frenzy continued. And now I'll show you one more time the little clip that I made of the feeding frenzy so you can see what the activity looked like in real time. By the time I got switched over to the 100 to 500, the feeding frenzy was done, but it was still fun to make a few video clips while the birds were so close of them as they kind of decided to leave the area and fly to another area to try to find some more fish. So I'm gonna let the audio from the video play and you can hear a dog barking in the distance and the birds as they're flying. You could hear the bird's wings as they were taking off to head to another area flapping and you could hear us having conversations with a person who was there near us who was making photographs with a cell phone and here they are as they're flying off now heather still was making photographs while i was making these videos and she made this amazing takeoff shot this pelican has its wing position. This is what we call orchestra conductor. Usually you see this during a landing, but she's got it during takeoff. 
And here's another one. You can see it kicking water up with its feet as it's taking off. It, they're pretty big birds, so it takes a lot of energy for them to take off. I'm not sure if this is a takeoff or a landing photo, but it's really pretty. Now, the interesting, she was shooting at 1 400th with a 5.6, and I was shooting at 1 2000th with an F11. I think maybe she should have shot a little bit faster shutter speed, and I should have shot a little bit slower shutter speed. Maybe next time we'll try those speeds. Here's one of my shots back with the 800 F11 of one of the Pelicans as it's flying. And here is a Pelican. Look at those derpy looking feet as it's coming in for a landing. Another 800 millimeter shot. 800 on and we're going to go, there's a bunch of them right down here on this little island. And we're going to go do some shots down there with the 800. Heather made a lot of really cool photographs right here while they were on this uh, area that is out of the water in the winter and in the water in the summer. Look at this one. One bird is coming in for a landing. Make room. I'm coming in on that dry area. And she also made this photograph of three of the birds as they were flying over. A three in one shot. Really beautiful. They're really something to see them fly in person. You got to check them out. And I love this shot. She's got one bird in focus and it's kind of curving around like where are you guys because they are so far back that they're completely out of focus well the birds are pretty much done with their feeding frenzy and kind of uh just roosting over here for lack of a better word and heather pointed out the the beautiful light on the mountains in the distance so i switched back to the 100 to 500 and i'm gonna try to make a pano when i got back down to make my panorama there were a lot of birds in the air in fact in this shot there are 16 birds coming in for a landing so i just made this a single shot 100 millimeter f8 of some birds coming in for a landing and then i made a 17 shot panorama i turned the camera vertically and made 17 shots handheld looking across you got a fisherman out there in the middle of dallas bay that's mowbray mountain i believe it's called in the background and you can see the birds there roosting and here is the entire shot a 200 millimeter one two hundredth of a second shot well now we've come back to the parking lot at the fishing pier we were just right over there and this is the same little island mud bar whatever you want to call it where they've been roosting but several of them have gotten up and are continuing to get up and fly around and probably going to look for a school of fish to to feed on again while we were back in that area, Heather made this cool shot of 15 pelicans in the air in one group that I thought turned out really nice. But that was pretty much the end. They decided to kind of settle down after that. Well, we've had a lot of fun here at Chester Frost Park. Uh, a lot of the American white pelicans have flown away, but there's still quite a few behind us there on that little uh, shallow area that is now exposed when the water's down this time of year, which I think is what brings those pelicans here and it's been a lot of fun making photographs and video clips hanging out with heather and ron and uh, we appreciate you coming along with us if you liked it maybe a thumbs up would be nice and we appreciate it and look forward to seeing you in the next one bye bye